pay order? Oh yeah, alright. You can either show it right there, or you can go out back and just find it right here. Mm -hmm. uh, the arch thoracic abdominal, I guess it's all like the same area. Yeah, the brachiocephalic subclavian. And the brachiocephalic is basically um, that first red string that comes right here. It and goes then, along the trachea. Mm -hmm. And the subclavian, the right subclavian, would be right here. You see that little trunk mm -hmm. between the two carotids? Yep. That's a right subclavian. Okay. And then uh, the common carotid arteries would be this one right here. And this one. These two things. Gotcha. External carotid arteries. Well, well, artery. I only found one because I, I'm not gonna go over mm -hmm. the other side. So, just found it like right here. axillary artery. It's like, you know, when you have this subclavian, and when the carotid branches off, the first part that branches off, that's not the carotid, is the, the axillary right here. From the trunk? Mm hmm Okay. And then the brachial is that one. It comes right after it. Gotcha. It's the small, the lower one. Yep. And then the two arteries, first of all, I think finally on that left side, I'm pretty sure I cut it, mm -hmm. is the only one that actually goes to the back from the left carotid, which is that one. Well, it's not, it's the subclavian. Um, it's that one right there. Yes. There's only one artery that goes out to the back, is the vertebral one. Posterior to the, uh, that one. Yeah. And then you have the thallus cervical. Which is that one. Okay. And then we have the substacular, which is that one. And then you have the lung thoracic, which is that one. See it? Mm -hmm. Intercostal arteries. Hmm. Actually, there's like another one that I pretty sure I had to find right here. The ventral. I guess that's unimportant. Alright. The intercostal arteries. That one. I think just gonna pick that one. So there's like one of one next to each other. So they go in, in between the costas? Yep. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> Sometimes they tend to do that. Yeah. And coronary arteries, you can see them right there. By the heart. Mm -hmm. Do we have to know each coronary artery? I seriously doubt it. Right. Yeah, I don't think we should have to point to them. Mm -hmm. And then, if you want to find the celiac artery, you have to go to the aorta in the back. And because I cut the celiac trunk, you can only find a little piece of it that's hanging right there. It, okay, it's from right there? Mm -hmm. Little thing Is that little, the little part? Yeah. Okay. I don't know why I cut it. And we have the gastric artery, which has been tough to find. I'm pretty sure I found it. Found one of them. The red ones are veins. I mean, the yellow ones are veins. Part of the hepatic part of the system. All right. I think gastric arteries are for later. It's somewhere in the stomach. Or going to the stomach. Did that? No. Alright, let's just find 
the planet. Which I couldn't find either. I can't find any other evidence of this plane. But you pretty much just know that there's a spleen and there's a vein coming from it. I mean, yeah, a uh, artery, artery, artery and it. vein kind of thing. Alright. Um, and the cranial mesentery, which was really obvious, right under the celiac. And it's that one. Okay. And then, let's just find the caudal mesentery right now. It's little thing hanging off out back right there a little th little vessel right there I'm pretty sure that's it because pigs are the same size in the book yeah that's funny and then we have the renal arteries which are really easy to find somewhere next to the Renal vein. I think it's right there. Then, where the hell is my renal artery? And these things are getting annoying. Oh, I think I'm holding it right there. Oh, there it is. There it is. Renal artery. Scratch that. Yep. And. And that's the um, your, your, uh, ureter that comes from this, right? right. Okay. And then now that's on the ileal lumbar artery, which is, you have to remember it's like right next to the caudal mesentery, which is right here. That's the caudal mesentery. Mm -hmm. And the ileal lumbar just go on both sides of it. So it's like, yeah. So it's like these two are both ileal lumbar arteries and veins. That I'm holding right here. And then external iliac, it's that one. Very superficial and apparent. Mm -hmm. And internal one is right there. Gotcha. Which is really odd because the book just said, just arbitrarily said, showed one on one side and the other one on the other side. I'm not even sure it's not the same thing. And you tried to go from the book, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Umbilical artery, I was trying to find it, but we don't have, I don't think we have that. Well, we do, just the one that goes to the bladder. Where's the bladder? Is that a bladder? Yeah, it's bl it a bladder. Oh, uh, yeah. So whatever artery goes to it, if I can find it, I don't think I found it yet. Oh, I think it's supposed to be that one. Right there. Mm -hmm. So that will be the umbilical artery. If that's the one that goes to the bladder. What about this one right there? Oh yeah, it could be it too. Oh, but is it just a red thing? Yeah. Oh, was it just a red thing? No, I think that's actually yeah, it. It's part of it. But it's it's insertion into the, into the bladder. Yeah. And then the ones associated with the gravity system, probably the natal arteries, which would be that one. Yeah, that one, that one, so... The nettles. Yeah. Let's go to the, um, testes. Mm-hmm, I think. Wait. That one. There you go, it's like really obvious. It's red. And it's going across the longer the vast Oh, uh, yeah, I see that. You can actually see it there, too. Yeah. Alright. Now we're done. What about, do we need a spermatic? Spermatic cord? Spermatic artery? It's the same thing, isn't it? I don't know. Because the only artery that actually goes to the testes. No, I think it's the same thing. Alright, so we're good?